Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Teaching Lab. I am going to explain uh, fifth experiment. Implement ESS with transmission nodes in wireless LAN and obtain the performance parameters. So already we have discussed different uh, uh, LAN in the Ethernet LAN and uh, we have studied the performance how to calculate the performance of the Ethernet LAN and we have selected a wired scenario in every all other experiments till program 4 but program 5 is related to wireless LAN here what is ESS so how to implement ESS with, the, with using the wireless LAN so ESS it's an extended service set. It's a set of one or more infrastructure basic service sets on a common logical input segment. So it is a concept. Key to the concept is that participating basic service sets appear as a single network to the logical link control layer. Or we can explain like it is a connecting multiple basic service sets. BSS via distribution system. So here it will provide, it will give the like how BSS basic sets are connected, uh, multiple basic sets are connected uh, through a distribution system. So two or more access points are uh, connected to the same local area network to provide a larger coverage area which allows the client to move from one area to another still be the part of the LAN. So this is the diagram you can see here, like how uh, different BSS are connected through a distribution system. So BS distribution system, ESS extended service set, how which, uh, these are connected, basic service sets are connected through BSS. And here there is no wired connection, so it provides wireless LAN uh, to the different nodes or different clients uh, using AP. So this is about the extended service set. So wireless LAN means as name indicates wireless computer network that links to or more devices using wireless communication to form a local area network within a limited area such as home, school, computer laboratory, campus or office building like that. So wireless LAN, it, it, uh, there is no wired connection between the nodes uh, by using wireless LAN or uh, because of the wireless connection between the nodes which make the uh, communication possible between the two nodes. So, so already we have discussed uh, uh, remaining what are the procedure to follow in the network simulator uh, software, what are the different procedures. So already we have discussed in the previous programs like first command you need to give in the terminal window as Java space minus jr nsg2 dot 1.2 jr this is to invoke network simulator window then in that we need to draw the network block diagram where whether we need to select the wired scenario or wireless scenario after that we need to make all the uh, link application everything and we need to do the network uh, block diagram after that you can edit the file, TCL file uh, later how to run the execute the TCL file uh, then we, need, we have to see the trace file awk file and execute the awk file this are the procedure we need to follow to execute the network simulator software after that um, in the trace file what are the different fields already we have discussed what are the different fields in the trace file if you see the uh, trace file there are different fields first field represents the event second indicates time third one from node the fourth one to node then fifth one packet type sixth one packet size flags like that 
so here first event it represent whether the number of packets are received the number of packets are dropped represented as r and d plus and minus whether it is there in the queue or d queue whether it is added in the queue or removed from the queue everything is represented in the event so these are the different fields in the trace because this field information is re uh, required in the opt file to execute the opt file because uh, in the network simulator the input will be taken as a tcl file and output will be uh, output will be generated as a trace file so to view the trace file to execute the trace file the opt file is required so uh, in the opt file we need to represent whether the packets are received dropped so it is represented in the different fields with a symbol dollar 1 represent it is a first field dollar 2 represent second field so that we need to write it in the opt file so let us uh, execute the program uh, we will open the terminal window open the terminal window and type the first command it is java the first command is java space minus jr nst 2.1. jar if you enter it will open this uh, window so in this window we need to select the scenario in the first four program we have selected wired scenario but this is about the wireless lan this program is related to wireless lan so we need to select wireless scenario so it opens this window here we need to select node agent or application parameters tcl everything so here we have considered only two nodes and these two nodes there is no wireless uh, there is no connection between these two nodes because it will transfer information through the wireless communication it may be a uh, radio frequency radio link huh? so that here we need to select the two nodes one is n not uh, another one n one but you make sure that uh, if you uh, while selecting the second node there should be a connection uh, so there should be a connection made between the two nodes because the blue line indicates there is a there should be something coverage it should be within the coverage area so it is represented as blue line because if you take n1 far from the n0 what will happen there is no coverage area because uh, the two nodes can communicate only within some coverage area so we need to select the second node in such a way that there should be uh, area or there should, there should be a network between the two nodes so i have selected n0 and n1 so that the period connection blue line then what we need to do is because two nodes should pass through one another and it should communicate with each other so we need to select the waypoint click on n0 and select the waypoint while selecting the waypoint you need to do the you need to make the destination point like uh, from the n0 to n1 what you need to do the start time let us take point 0.1 and the speed uh, let us take 100 but while selecting the destination point because from the n0 to n1 we need to select the x and for example first one is x the second one is y then already it is 577 value so what we need to select here it should be more than 577 so remember from n0 to n1 left to right if you select the destination point should be greater than this x value so it is 577 i will select around 600 600 30 to 40 values more than that one now 600 and second point let it be same thing it's 346 okay so from the n0 to n1 while selecting the point it should be greater than this x value y should be let it same thing so click on add so it has added 600 to 346 speed is 100 start time point done and click on n1 right click and select the waypoint and we need to take the start point to 0.1 meter speed is 100 but the destination it should move left towards left side while selecting the waypoint for the n1 the x value should be less than 370 so i will take 330 value 
330 or let it be 50 less than 50 or uh, some 320 320 it should be less than 370 and the second value let it be the same value 347 so the first destination point should be less than 370 i have taken 320 and the second y point y value let it be the same one now so even here also we have selected the 346 here 347 but this value while selecting the way point for the n1 it should be greater than this value 577 from n1 to n0 it should be less than 370 click on add it has added done okay now click on agent let it be the tcp from n0 so click here and select uh, tcp and make the changes here it should be tcp link and uh, take the tcp link from the m1 and do the connection between tcp0 and tcp1 link 1 application select application ftp and connect to the tcp these are the connections okay so the first step select two points later uh, Select the waypoint from n0 to n1 in such a way that it should be x value should be greater than this value and y should be uh, remain same. From n1 to n0, it should be less than 370, but y value should be remain same. From n0, take the agent as TCP. From n1, take the uh, agent as uh, uh, TCP sync. Make the connection between that. After that, connect, select the application. From the application, select the FTP and make this connection. Then, for the parameters, uh, let us take uh, as five point. This is the fifth program. I will make five point TR and five tab, five point NAM. Okay. Then, then in the TCL, TCL. Uh, just observe first field is initialization uh, already it has given initialization then nodes already it has given as 370 347 577 346 but we have selected like uh, one is from n not to 2 n1 600 greater than 577 and second one 346 speed is 100 uh, start time is 0.1 from n1 to n0 We have selected as it is already it is 370 less than 370 320 347. So it is a generate moment. Huh? What is the moment value should be destination point? Uh, let us change the start time from 0.52 to 0.528. Let it be 0.528. Zero point five two eight. So then all other uh, fields remain same. Only the changes we made in the application from zero point five start time to the eight stop time. Then everything is same. Remain same. So save and uh, make it. Uh, I will make remove. It will be here only. So remove. File wrong. Yes, remove. Okay. I uh, have saved this one. Um, okay, save it. What we need to do after that, uh, we need to do the control C and we need to change the folder CD. 
பிரபா இன்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோஸ்ட்ரோ